specializing in drone production. It was actually the first like drone hackathon in Ukraine. Yeah. It was like the first one military kind. We won the prize actually okay. because we have shown the I think the one of the best results. <laughs> Back then the RP team came up with a prototype for guided ammunition. They teamed up with another hackathon participant who developed the software and today they are going to make a test drop. We have seen a lot of uh, videos from the front lines where uh, soldiers are trying to target uh, enemies from Mavics or like small UAVs with a, by dropping things. Like we have like got some information that this way is not very precise or it is very not precise actually. And we have decided to change it by using some uh, simple tech. Shortly after the flying sessions began, the air alarms signaled the presence of enemy UAVs in the Kyiv region sky. The flights had to stop for about an hour. The anti-aircraft system worked successfully and we just witnessed how the um, enemy UAV was hit in the sky. After the pause, testing resumed. There were many different kinds of UAVs presented, ones with the vertical takeoff, kamikazes and FPVs. They all differ in size, specs and serve different purposes. From now on, this range will be at the service of the army of drones, allowing developers and pilots to test their inventions. Initiatives like these are uniting the military, investors, nerds and the tech industry in the fight against the aggressor. 